Hi, I'm Matthew, and in this video, we'll discuss the plus and minus of square roots. Let's try this question. Evaluate the square root of 9. Well, you may have learned the square root of a number is the value that when you square, meaning you multiply by itself, gives you the number. In other words, what is the number that gives you the answer 9 when you take a square off? Is it 3, negative 3, or plus minus 3? Why don't we take squares of each answer and see if we get the answer 9? Let's first try A. 3 squared is 3 times 3, so the answer is positive 9. B, let's square the negative 3. That means negative 3 times negative 3. When you multiply two negative numbers, they become positive, and 3 times 3 is 9, so the answer is positive 9. Our plus minus 3 square has two cases where one is 3 square and the other is negative 3 square, and we have confirmed that they both give you the answer 9. So does that mean that the answer is C plus minus 3? Actually, it is not. The only correct answer to this question is A. Let me tell you why. When you see this radical sign, there are two assumptions. One is that although it is not written, it assumes that the index of the radical sign is 2, meaning that we want a square root. But this radical sign also means that we only want a positive square root. And that is why when the question asks to evaluate this, the only right answer is a, just 3 and not negative 3. Then when do we ever take account of the negative root? Take a look at this example. x squared is equal to 9. The reason that this is a quadratic equation is because our variable has a power of 2 if it had a part of 1, we would call it a linear equation, but when our variable has a power of 2, we call it a quadratic equation. So let's solve. Let's isolate our variable, meaning that we want to get to x is equal to something. And in order to go from here to here, we need to somehow get rid of the square. And to do that, we take the opposite operation of squares, which is the square root. So next line, we have a square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 9. And this is exactly when we need to write plus and minus in front of the radical sign. This is very important. When you take a square root on both sides of the equation, that's when we have to write plus and minus in front of our radical sign. So the square root and the square cancel each other out. So we only have x on the left side and that equals to plus and minus stay the same. And square root of 9 is equal to 3 as we saw in the previous page. And that is our final answer. x is equal to plus minus 3. And it is very important that we write plus and minus in front of 3. And that is because if we don't and write it as x is equal to 3, that means that there is only one value of x, 3, that satisfies that equation. But as we know, the square of negative 3 is also 9. So we need to make sure that we have both our answers plus minus 3. Let me summarize. Radical sign which is this, means only a positive square root. But when you're taking square roots on both sides of the equation, make sure to put plus and minus in front of a square root. So when you have an equation like this, and when you're solving it, you take square root on both sides and make sure you write plus and minus in front of the square root on the right side of the equation. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe and check out my other videos as well. I'm Matthew and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!